Let's build the fastest team. Have you guys got a terrible team, no coins, and you want to buy some of the brand new players from the Rule Breaker promo? I'll go on then. Want to look no further than MuleFactory.com. Go over there to get the cheapest, most safe, reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Okay, boys, so today we are here with a brand new video. We're here with my very first challenge video of FIFA 23. And today our task is to build the fastest team in the game. So we're going to try and use the quickest player in every position and obviously try and win games. But we're going to set ourselves a few challenges today along the way. So the first challenge in the few games that we play, starting basic, we have to run past five defenders. And if we don't do that with the quickest team, then we literally have no chance of ever beating a defender ever in FIFA. Now I'm panicking. And then the second challenge, a little bit harder, but we've got to do this three times over three games we're giving ourselves. And we have to run from the halfway line all the way to the byline of the opposition's pitch without getting tackled and sprinting all the way. And obviously the third challenge is to hopefully win the game. That's obviously the main task. Cheers, Jeff. But anyways, the plan today is to show you guys speed. Do you get it? I show speed. This is great banter. Yeah, I, I won't quit my day job. It's fine. So that's enough for me jabbering on. If you guys do enjoy this video, please do smash the like button. Let me know in the comments below the next challenge you'd like to see. Anyways, let's get ourselves over to FIFA and let's build the quickest team in the game. So formation wise, we've gone pretty bog standard. It's going to be the 4-3-3 today. So let me show you the fastest keeper in the game. So in terms of keepers, we have to go for the speed stat. And the keeper with the highest speed stat is Hero Campos. So he's going straight in there with a whopping 84 full speed. Why are you coming fast? That's pretty damn quick. I don't even know who the quickest keeper is behind him. Let me check. It's actually Zenta with 65 speed. So he's like monumentally quicker than any keeper. So he's coming off the line, collecting anything that gets past the back four. He has to. On to right wing back. We have got one of the best full backs on this game currently. And I managed to get him in red pick. So it's a win-win situation. It's none other than the man Frimpong with a whopping 95 pace. Right back wise, Frimpong is the quickest on the game. No player should be beating him unless he comes against like Mbappe or something. He's got like one extra pace or Traore. But they're the only two players that should be getting past him. But the first centre back on the team, I'm pretty sure you can guess at least one of these centre backs. He's got 93 pace. It's pretty damn obvious. It is the man, Jeremiah St. Just look at him. 93 pace. If pace decided over a rating, this guy would obviously be the best defender in the game. However, this year pace isn't his key, but we'll find out with the team at least. So the next player on the list is actually all to do with the new feature this year, obviously opposition changes. This guy actually defaults as a right wing back, but can play centre back as well. And it is Cannon, the American speedmeister by the looks of it. Hope he doesn't cannon up the pitch. Oh God, I need to shut up. What am I doing? But he is sitting there with a whopping 91 pace as a centre back. I swear to God, if our defence even gets out pace once in this video, I am going to be absolutely fuming. <laughs> The left back then is a pretty damn obvious one if you couldn't guess already. He's literally a gold card. One of the best left backs on the game, even without the pace. It's the man, Alfonso Davies. What a beast. Also, he streams, so that's a dub. Shout out to Alfonso Davies. What a man. So the central midfield, we've got a midfield trio three of position changes. First one being a striker who can go down to a centre mid, which is Gonzalez at a whopping 93 pace. Next up is Butchanan. What did he say? <laughs> who defaults as a right mid. And then the third and final one in the midfield, we've got a centre mid changing from left back. It is Jose Caraballi with 91 pace. We've not got a single outfield player below 90 pace right now. It's absolutely ridiculous. And the team is not slowing down. I can tell you that one for free. On to the attack then. It's pretty damn obvious. A couple of players in this attack, I'm sure. The right winger is a man with 96 pace. And if you couldn't guess already, it's the mean machine. Adama Traore. 96 pace. 86 dribbling as well and lengthy. Like, that is literally your worst nightmare facing in FIFA 23. Lengthy with 96 pace. Yeah, my console's getting turned off. So to get the fastest striker, I even went ahead and completed an SBC just for this video. And it was an option of two. And just for you guys, I went for the pace with 96 pace. Ooh. And now on to the left wing. One of, if not probably the best gold card in FIFA 23, at least base card wise. If you hadn't guessed it already, the guy is 76 physical, 80 passing, 36 defending, 89 shooting, 92 dribbling and 97 pace. He has the default position of a striker, but can go left wing. It is none other than Killian 
Mbappe. So we have built now the fastest team in FIFA 23. I've decided to work out the average pace. And without the keeper, the average pace of this team is 93. That's absolutely disgusting. Like, genuinely, if we actually lose any pace battles here, I think I might cry. So the team has been built. It's time to get into the games. Like I said, we've given ourselves three games to complete the two challenges set. All right, I'm going to find our first opponent. Then I'll meet you guys back over in FIFA. All right, we found the first opponent to face the pace. My jokes get worse every time. He's got a pretty pacey team himself, to be fair. Right, this is going to be challenging, but we'll see what the boys can do. Come on, let's get the burners on. Frimpong, please. Oh my god, Campos, what is that? Here we go, Mbappe, surely. Yep, see you later. You're getting sprinted straight past. Whee! What in the world has just happened? Right, Mbappe, halfway line is here. Come on, let's get to the byline without a defender catching us. Can it be done? Kyle Walker is pretty rapid. Oh, it's Munier, never mind. He's to the line. That's it done. That's one done. We're taking that. Here we go, beat the defender again. Yes. Yeah, we'll take that. He's kind of been fouled, but we'll take that. Win it. Oh, my word. He's hit the bar. Seconds. Yes. Becker. That's what we like to see. We're back in the game. I mean, I haven't really been focusing on the scoreline, but we're at least back in the game. I would like the win as well. That'd be nice. We've got to beat the defender here, surely. He's not really close enough. He is Dude, now. Easy, dude. Yes, we're taking that. That's number three. Mbappe, stop this. Mbappe, stop this. He's in the box. He's in the box. He's going to shoot. Oh, my. What? How has he scored? I don't know how he scored that. Oh, Frimpong's been bullied by Leroy Sane there. He's sweating it. You just sweating it. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, okay, well, that's just a pretty good finish. Oh, see you, mate. Oh, that's... That, we've definitely... We've gone past about three defenders there. That's going to be that challenge to completed. Come on, Becca. You know what? We're going we're gonna to try it. Let's get back to the halfway line. Davies, come on. Put the banners on. Here we go. All the way to the byline. Oh, oh, he's ran the bombing ball out. You've got to be joking. Here we go. This could be the one. We can get to the byline here, please. No fallback there. We're going to do it. We've done it for the second time. We're counting that. Uh, I mean, it technically gone out, but we made it. You ain't beating Alfonso here. No way. Not with the pace. Look at him. Oh, no. He's bottled it there. Snap him. Oh, my God. He's nearly broke his ankles. Oh, and he scored from it. Oh, my God. All right, there we go. The first the game is completed. We managed to successfully do all the dribbles past the defenders. All five of them were done in that game. And also, we did two out of the three, I believe, halfway line runs. So that's also a dub. We only have to do one more of them and then also win a game out of the next two. So we've got to try and win. That might actually be the hardest part of this challenge. All right, game two's here. Opponent two's team is, once again, a pretty damn solid one. I mean, division four is pretty solid, I can't lie. All right, let's see if we can get these challenges done. Maybe the bit of the halfway line challenge right now. Alfonso, come on, get to that byline. Go on, Alfonso. Yes, 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 we've done it. We've done it, stop the ball there. Oh, we can't stop the ball, it's fine. We got to the line, that's the main thing. Now we just need to get a win. All right, we've got two games to do it, come on. Mbappe's free on this side, ball roll. And Mbappe, 1-0, come on, seven minutes in, 1-0 with the fastest team, come on. Okay, well, nice, turn it, hit it, oh, let's go, good pass inside, do him, bang, yes, come on, 2-1, we're back in the lead. No shot has that gone through like that, you've got to be joking me, as if... Oh, that's shocking defending for me. Oh, my days. What have I done? No, we need the win. Oh, okay. It comes down to the last game in the challenge for us to try and get a win. Else we have to hit a discard in this team, which obviously includes Mbappe. That's why I'm scared. Like, I want to get this win. All right, let's just find this final opponent. I'm taking my jumper off. I'm getting too warm and sweaty here. Let's try and get this win, please. All right, the final game and our final opponent. The guy's team is once again pretty damn good. Oh. Oh, we've got to be on our A game if we beat this. I can't lie. Over the top. Oh my God, that's a ball. If Mbappe's on side, Mbappe! We've scored early again. We scored early last game, but now we need to build onto this lead and not concede. That would be a good idea probably, wouldn't it? Nice. Here we go. Becker. Hit that shot. Oh my word, what a finish. We could have a quit. We might have a quit in the final game. Our opponent has paused it. Oh, oh he's gone. Steve. Eight minutes into the final game and we save the discard that we could have had. Oh my word. Okay, I'm happy about that. I am very happy with that to end with the fastest team with a 2-0 rage quit win. That is a W.
Come on. Some might even call that a fast win as well. You know, just for just for you guys out there. But there we go. Then we end off our first challenge video of FIFA 23 with a victory. We complete all the challenges we set as well, which is a W. We love to see it. No discards, that means. So my Mbappe, that is actually untradeable, is safe. But yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next in terms of challenge videos. Also, smash that like button if you did enjoy it as well. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.